One wolf who's not in action tonight, Perry Jones, who's a local product, as Jefferson finishes with a left-handed throwdown. Thank you, Steph. That's Stephanie Odie. And Sloan missed the three. Millsap the other way and the foul. I think for Texas that they have Coach Mack on top of it. You're, you've got new bodies coming in all the time, and as you mentioned earlier, right now, right, pretty soon you're going to get home games, home game, home game, and that's going to be up an opportunity to get really healthy. And Jefferson beats the shot clock. That's tied for the most in the G League. Ten points, ten boards for the Duke product. Here's Brown with the drive, feeding Jefferson two hands. Brown will inbound. And Jefferson gets a good look, and he's able to hit with a tenth of a second left. Underneath, Jefferson steps into an angle, and his second effort goes with a foul. Baldwin, an extra pass. Ashley has it stripped away by Elijah Millsap. The Wolves with numbers. Washburn, another layup. And just like that, a one-point lead for the Wolves has grown back to eight, and Bob McKinnon wants a timeout. And Millsap five in the last goes. six. Yeah, Millsap guarded by Detman. Gets away from mm. Detman. Sloan closes out, but Millsap hits from the elbow. Quarter. Brown to Jefferson. And finishes with Warney in his face. It was too late, and Bob is not too pleased. Well, the, the Wolves... The Wolves pulled a fast one because they inbounded the ball so quickly that there wasn't much time. Starts on the defensive end. Millsap almost lost it. Trimble feeds the cutting. Jefferson, the roll and the foul. You're right there. Texas really did play, what, about 18 really good.